Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Update. Today I wanted to talk about sniping in Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know I've talked briefly about the specialist class in general and things like that in some of my other videos, but I wanted to dedicate a video around just the sniping part as that was something I was almost non-existent in the previous game and something I think they've done a really good job in in this game and I think it might cater to some people who didn't enjoy the previous game. Because in Star Wars Battlefront 2015 we didn't really have sniping the same way we do in games like Battlefield. But my point is that you basically had a pulse cannon and cycler rifle that you had a cooldown on and the pulse cannon was kind of ridiculous as you could fire mid-air and it was always a one shot no matter if you had a backed-up bomb or not and it also had splash damage making it quite overpowered. And we did get a DLT 19X during post launch which did introduce a little bit of sniping but since it only fired one shot at a time unless you had a cooling cell it didn't really cater too much to snipers either. But in Star Wars Battlefront 2 now that we have a specialist class we actually have some proper sniper rifles and I think they've done a fantastic job on this because the main issue with sniping in Star Wars is that if you compare it to Battlefield, you have a bullet velocity and a bullet drop and as soon as you get further away from the enemy, you need to adjust for that. Whereas when we're talking about lasers in the Star Wars universe, they don't really have that kind of drop and delay for the bullets, at least some of them, such as snipers, which means that if they would implement it like the first Battlefront games, I think that would have been really horrible, because in those games you could fire both when scoping in and no scope, and the shots were instant, and would one shot you in the head. Basically meaning that it would be like Battlefield but with no bullet drop off and no bullet delay and that just wouldn't work in a multiplayer game. Whereas right now the snipers in Star Wars Battlefront 2 can one shot some people, specialists to be more exact. If you have the main sniper which for the clones is the Vulcan, you can one shot other specialists but only in the head and I think that's completely fair but as soon as you face off against an assault or heavy it takes at least two shots to kill them and more than that if you don't hit them in the head. But then they've also added some more different snipers such as the burst sniper which I think is called A280 CFE which adds another type of sniping to the game. I didn't personally think it was too good for long range simply because it had recoil so when you fired a burst only the first shot would hit making it into a quite tricky weapon to get kills with on long range. However, it was on the other hand pretty good at short range. And with both of these snipers, I managed to get a couple of kills up close, not actually sniping them, but basically spamming the blaster at close range with no scopes, hoping I would hit the enemy two or three times and kill them. So that is obviously another big change compared to something like the DLT 19X. You can rapidly fire these sniper rifles multiple times in a row, as long as you don't overheat the weapon. But on the other hand it does have a quite significant recoil, so if you do that on a long range it's gonna be very hard to hit multiple consecutive hits, so don't worry about it being too overpowered. Unless someone of course is standing completely still after being hit by the first shot, in that case you only have yourself to blame if you die from a sniper. In regards to the specialist class in general, I think the second ability, the Infiltration Blaster, is pretty good as it's a nice thing to swap to whenever you're getting close to someone and you feel like you don't want to no-scope them with the sniper. However, I think the Trip Mine doesn't really fit as I've said in other videos, so I hope they swap it out for something more sniper-ish to make sure that the Specialist is up on the same level as the other classes as right now, although sniping is fun, it still does feel like the weakest class in the game. But I guess the main point of this video is just that I wanted to let you know that sniping is now back in Battlefront and not just something you swap to as a secondary weapon but as a main playstyle. You can now stay in the back and snipe people if that's what you prefer to do and I hope that people who like sniping in other games will do so in this game as well and not just feel like it was shoehorned into the game. But that is all for this video, thank you guys very much for watching and as always may the force be with you.